Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how to fix the anti-cheat issues in Splitgate 2 for the PC. Um, these would look like access denied or you get some error code um, and this causes uh, crashes and other things as well. So uh, in this video I'm going to show you how to fix it. Okay, the first fix is to end the red card process in Task Manager. Uh, so basically, if you quit Splitgate 2 and the red card anti-cheat does not close properly, uh, this will fail to relaunch the game. So what do you do? Uh, press sh Control, Shift, and del Escape. And look for red card. I uh, don't have this thing running, but basically it's... I'm not going to see it here. Um, but find it. It's called red card. A card with a K. And right click on it and... Uh, and the task and then start to relaunch the game once again. Okay, the next thing you want to do is uh, basically temporary turn off Windows security, including Windows Firewall and Windows Defender. So in the search bar, type in Windows security, uh, click on virus and threat protection right here, virus and threat protection settings, manage settings and turn off real time protection temporarily. Um, and also do the same for the firewall as well. So the public network uh, turn this off and I'll uh, see if that works. If it does work and then we'll keep it off uh, either all the time while running the game or you can add an occlusion into both uh, the firewall and the uh, Windows security. Okay, the next thing you want to do is verify the integrity of the game files. So how do you do that? In the library, find Splitgate 2. You right click on Splitgate 2, click on properties. And installed files, you click on verify integrity of game files. This takes a couple of minutes to do, but uh, basically see if that works. Next thing you want to do is update Windows. So basically uh, an old version of Windows, if you haven't updated it, does not play well with Red Card, the anti-cheat uh, software that Splitgate 2 is running. So go into search, go into settings, go into Windows Update and say uh, find updates and install all the updates. I need to do that right now, but basically do that to make sure that this is working. The next thing you can try while well, reinstalling the game on a different um, a different launcher. If you're on Steam, uh, maybe consider Xbox Game Pass and Vice. First, uh, the next thing you want to do, if you're running an AMD CPU, I would recommend you update your BIOS in the AMD CPU. Um, every BIOS is different, so uh, I would recommend you look that up and how to do that. The next thing you want to do is make sure if you're running on Steam that the Steam overlay is not running. Um, find the game in your library, go to right click on it, go to properties and uh, make sure that enable the Steam overlay while in game is turned off. The last thing I recommend is using a software called ExitLag. ExitLag is a very useful software. So basically what this is, this is a VPN, uh, but it's a VPN that connects you to the servers closest to where you live. It decreases your online ping by about 20 or 30, at least it does for me. You can see right now um, for Steam, my average ping is about 16. Uh, usually it's actually uh, much lower than 16, it's about five. And if I wasn't using exit lag, it would be about 30. Um, for here, just go to library, type in split gate two. You can find Splitgate 2, you put in where you live. I live in Asia, so I click apply routes. It finds the routes that um, are closest to you again. Oh look, Steam right now it's down to five ping. It is absolutely amazing. I would recommend it. You can also go to FP Boost. Um, you can shotgun your internet connection too if you have more than one internet connection. FP Boost to make sure that your PC is optimized to run this game. So this is a paid service. It costs about $5 a month, but the first week is free. So why not give it a try? I'll put a link in the pinned comment below. So give it a try. If that works for you, why not? And that's it for this video. If this video helped you leave the video a like and please subscribe. I really appreciate it. Have a nice day.